I live here on this small farm about an hour south of Nashville. And I was fixing up this old farmhouse, and so I joined the Historic Society here in Murray County. And while I was there, they gave me a newsletter that happened to be printed that particular month. And when I was reading it, sitting in the room, there were these letters that were reprinted in there from John Robison writing to his wife, Josephine. And something about those letters really touched me and inspired me because he clearly loved his wife and his children. And so I found myself um, sometime later in a hotel room with my guitar thinking about those letters and a song just came out called Josephine. And once we made the music video, everyone on our team started talking about the potential of making a movie. Like everyone wanted to make a movie except for me. I thought the story was fully told. There was nothing else that I felt like we needed to say about John or about Josephine because they were covered in the letters. But someone who had seen the music video a couple of years later sent me an email and they had excerpts from some letters from Josephine that she had written to John. And again, they were very poetic and beautiful. What if Josephine didn't hear from her husband? We just had that little bit of an idea, like what if she's at home and she has to cut her hair and basically become a man and go find her husband? So we rushed back here to the farmhouse and we sat down with our computers and we started writing. And in about three or four hours, a large part of the film unfolded. And I remember leaning over to Aaron, he was sitting next to me and telling him, we need to make it this spring. I got this feeling we need to do it now. And of course he was ready to go, so he said, yeah, I'm in, man, sign me up, let's do this. And so we immediately put the wheels in motion and said we're gonna move to Virginia in March and start filming in April. And that's what we did. Mm -hmm.